Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about satellite communication link design procedure. Okay. So this particular satellite communication link design procedure is with respect to uplink design procedure as well as downlink design. Okay. Now this whole design procedure with respect to uplink as well as downlink. Okay. So can be explained in a simple 10 steps. So these are uh, several uh, 10 steps. In these 10 steps, we are going to see the design of uplink as well as downlink, okay? First, we need to know what is an uplink as well as what is a downlink, okay? So whenever you are sending some signal or some data using from an earth station to a satellite, we can consider it as an uplink where the high frequency signal or the high converted signal or the high converted frequency will be used, okay? Suppose you are sending a signal from the satellite to the earth station, okay? That we can consider it as downlink or you can say that uh, you are using a frequency which is down converted, okay? So this is what is the process uh, which goes on whenever you are uplinking procedure or designing a downlink, okay? So what are the step by steps we are going to consider? We are going to see it right now, okay? So let's get into the points. What is the design procedure for uplink as well as downlink? Okay. Now, first thing we need to determine the ray frequency band in which system must operate. Okay. So always we need to select the frequency band with what frequency the signal need to be transmitted, either in the case of uplink or in the case of downlink. Okay. Frequency band selection of frequency band is very much necessary. Okay. In order for an good communication uh, point okay so determine the frequency band in which system must operate okay and comparative designs may be required to help the make the selection so obviously a care need to be taken while selecting a particular frequency for the uplink or the downlink okay now determine the communication parameters so what parameters we are considering while communicating it can be with respect to antennas it can be with respect to the bandwidth it can be with respect to what type of data we are transmitting okay it it, it can be with respect to uh, whether we are using uh, uplink or downlink format it can be with respect to how much frequency we are using all these things comes under communication parameters okay so if at all we don't know the any values we need to estimate those values okay now that determine the parameters of the transmitting and receiving the earth station. We also need to determine the parameters of the transmitting, whichever the uh, earth station is transmitting or whichever the earth station is receiving between the satellite. Okay. And we need to determine those parameters also. What is the, at which place these earth stations are located? What are the parameters or what are the temperature over there? How much noise? is appeared with respect to the temperature transmitting and receiving signal okay uh, in and several uh, antenna parameters are also considered okay which is able uh, which is able to transmit and receive the signal with respect to earth station these parameters are also very much necessary okay now start at the transmitting earth station now if you are considering a transmitting earth station, we can consider, as I've already said, whenever you are sending a signal from an earth station to the satellite, we consider it as an uplink, right? So start at the transmitting earth station. We are establishing an uplink budget, okay? That means the transponder noise power to find C by N in the transponder, okay? So C by N in the transponder means what is the transponder Okay, so whatever the data we take, that will be again uh, transmitted to the desired location that a transfer a transponder job is. Okay, so carrier to noise ratio we need to uh, find out in that particular transponder where this particular uplink budget is used. Okay, so in order to transmit a signal from an earth station to a satellite, okay, the signal to noise ratio C by N or the noise power of a particular uh, uh, transponder need to be considered. Okay. This is with respect to uh, transmitting earth station, which is nothing but uplink budget. Okay. Now find the output power of the transponder based on the transponder gain or output back off. Okay. 
along with the signal which is getting transmitted what is the output buffer okay which is uh, going along with the signal we need to find out and uh, based on that particular gain and several parameters okay so now if you calculate the downlink suppose that particular signal from a satellite is going to an earth station or an earth station is receiving the signal okay again what we need to do now we need to establish the downlink power okay so that means the frequency is down converted uh, the noise will be different so how to calculate that using a uh, carrier to noise ratio with respect to down dn is nothing but here you can see dn right c by n with respect to dn is nothing but uh, downlink power and if you see here let me clear this and if you see here c by n with respect to up up okay carrier to noise ratio with respect to uplink converter okay this is uh, what happens with respect to uh, uplink uplink means carrier to noise ratio with respect to up means uplink here carrier to noise ratio uh, dn means downlink okay so as for now uh, we are talking about the downlink power we need to establish the downlink power okay uh, such that the signal will be traveled for the receiving earth station so uh, we need to calculate the carrier to noise ratio with respect to downlink so that we are considering it as c by n dn okay and the c by n output for a station at the edge of the coverage zone okay now we need to calculate signal to noise ratio now after establishing the uplink power as well as the downlink power along with the signal we have calculated carrier to noise ratio with respect to uplink uh, design as well as the downlink design okay now what we need to do we need to calculate the um, one second let me take the pin okay now we need to calculate the signal to noise ratio okay with respect to the base band channel okay so and we need to find out the link margin okay uh, right now once we have calculated the uplink design as well as the downlink design and after calculating the carrier to noise ratio okay right now we need to calculate the signal to noise ratio also in the baseband channel okay now and we need to find the link margin okay so at the last what we need to do we need to evaluate the both the results cyn as well as s band carrier to noise ratio as well as uh, signal to noise ratio and we need to compare them with the specific requirements if there are any change in parameters of the system okay with respect to carrier to noise ratio as well as signal to noise ratio we need to check okay and for this we need to have a several trial runs okay so few times uh, we need to have an uplink design with respect to the power and calculate carrier to c by n as well as s by n and few times we need to have uh, a trial run of downlink uh, uh, downlink procedure and we need to calculate c by n as well as uh, s by n okay and at the last taking those results we need to compare both the c by n of uplink as well as downlink and uh, S, by, S by n of uplink as well as downlink need to be compared and this uh, based on this comparison we need to evaluate the results okay so this happens not by a single taking a single value by repeating it uh, in multiple times okay we can compare the values of uh, carrier to noise ratio as well as signal to noise ratio and we are going to come for a conclusion if at all there is any change in parameters of that particular system or not okay this is how a particular uplink as well as downlink design will be considered now after comparing both the uh, noise ratios we need to determine the propagation conditions under which the link must operate okay so whether it can be an uplink or a downlink in which conditions it need to operate based on the comparison of the results we need to decide okay and also we need to calculate the outage time for the uplinks as well as downlink okay so we need to for each and every design whether it can be an uplink while transmitting it from an um, a earth station to a satellite okay or it can be a downlink which while we are receiving the signal from an satellite to an earth station okay so the outage times should be like uplinks 
as well as we need to calculate the outage times with respect to the uplinks and downlinks. Now, what we need to do, we need to again redesign the system by changing some parameters if the link margins are inadequate. Okay. Now, uh, all the parameters we need to check. We need to check that whether all the parameters are reasonable and uh, design can be implemented within the expected budget. Okay. So, this is a basic satellite communication uh, link with respect to design procedure of an uplink as well as downlink. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.